Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ian Leonard here in the Fox 9 Weather Center. I want to talk a lot about lake ice and look, it's after the new year and I think most folks would say, oh, the lake ice, it's fine, we're in January, but there has been a limiting factor as we've gone through this winter season and that is snow. So far, over 48 inches of snow in January alone, over 15 inches of snow. I want to take you down here to one of my favorite lakes, that's Gull Lake. And as you get down, obviously it is ice and snow covered, but is it safe? And the easy answer is not all lakes in Minnesota at this point in January are safe and here's why with all of that fresh snowpack on top of what was 10 to 15 inches of some very strong ice in December there's a problem you see the snowpack acts almost like a blanket it insulates the ice from the sub freezing air. It's what I call the igloo effect. And when you think about this, well into the northern latitudes when there's dangerously cold temperatures, you build an igloo to keep yourself insulated. That's exactly what's happening. The snowpack keeps the sub freezing air away from the lake ice. And I know that the water is absolutely bone rattling cold, but it is still liquid. It is still at or above freezing. And that starts to edge away here at the lake ice. We end up with a bit of a slush pack right here under the snowpack above the lake ice. That with the above freezing water from below tends to weaken what was some very strong lake ice back in December. It is something to keep in mind as we get into some prime snowmobile season, some prime ice fishing season. What was once strong or what you believe to be strong may not be so because of the fresh snowpack creating the igloo effect. So now you know, now you can stay sky aware, or in this case, stay lake ice aware.